Problem 2-31. Write an equation and solve it to find the answer to the question below. Use the 5D process to help you write the equation if needed. Remember to define your variable and to write your answer in a complete sentence. Susan is buying three different colors of tiles for her kitchen floor. She is buying 25 more red tiles than beige tiles and three times as many navy blue tiles as beige tiles. If Susan buys 435 tiles altogether, how many tiles of each color does she buy? So in this word problem, we need to analyze the, the words that are being used. So we know that there's three different colors and together, the tiles together are 435. However, when she um, buys, we're being, they're comparing, for example, it says 25 more red tiles than beige tiles. So this is comparing the beige with the red. So that's, we could write an expression for that. Also, there's another comparing information. Three times as many navy blue tiles as beige tiles. So that's the other comparison. So what I'm noticing, they're being compared with the beige tiles. So that we can use in our advantage. And remember, they want us to use the 5D process if it helps us. I'm going to review that in this video. And really, we want to write an equation and solve it. So the directions are to have an equation. So as a reminder, the 5D process, we want to draw, or in this case, describe, either or. I like to draw, so I'm going to do a drawing. After that, we're going to define the variable. So what's the what could be missing, and we're going to use that variable to express the other missing information. Do is like solve, uh, create the equation. Decide. Decide if your answer makes sense. And then finally, declare. So use that complete sentence they're referring to. So I'm going to draw. So I know there's three types of color styles. I'm just going to use one color in this case. But I'm going to say we have beige, we have red, and we have navy blue or blue. So the comparison is very important. So when I'm drawing, I want to compare with the beige, both of them. So I'm going to draw beige as a t algebra tile, like a missing information. So the, when I want to draw for the red, it tells me 25 more red than beige. So my beige, I already have a picture of it. So I'm going to repeat it. And there's 25 little tiles. So I could draw 25. Or what I could do is say, well, there's additional. So I'm going to just draw an expression almost like I'm going to say. There's extra long plus 25. So I can see visually that at some point they're the same. But the red has additional 25. So more than is what I used. Now, if I concentrate of what it says for the blue tile, so go back to the text, it says three times as many. So if you have something one time, this is one, so this will be twice and three times as many, so it's repeated three times. And we already know the picture for the beige, so I'm going to draw, so it's one for the beige, but it said three times, so one to three times as many as the beige. So now clearly I can say let the variable x be the beige. So I'm right now defining the variable x. I'm saying let x be the missing information or the amount of tiles for beige color. That means this is also x, but this will be x plus 25. That's the expression. This is the beige. And this one is one, two, three times. So it was with three groups of x. So um, once I have that information, I'm looking like how do I tie them together? In this case, they said there's total. We know that she bought. So we have total. All these together 
is called total so that we can take advantage of that 435 tiles we can do like a vertical or all together so this will help me do the equation so I'm going to set up my equation so I'm going to say x plus x plus 25 so I'm adding all the expressions for the tiles plus 3x is total or is equal to the total of 435 so right now the first part in our direction says write an equation we just did so by us making it equal we wrote the equation now we want to solve the equation so looking at the picture how many x's do we have so combine like terms you can look at the so one two three four five or I, I could look at the expression here one another one and three more so five total x plus 25 they're unlike with the x i'm going to keep it is equal to 435. So our job is to now solve and find the missing uh, variable x. Pause the video and try on your own. So if you needed help, so subtract 25 from both sides. So we want to isolate the variable x. So after doing that, I have four groups of x. I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to have one group of x. So one group of x or one tile of x is equal to 410 divided by 5. So go ahead and pause the video and divide. So we're going to find x like that. So the last thing is, well, we're going to decide if this makes sense. So whatever that number is, decide and then declare. Go ahead and write your answer in complete sentences. So in this case, um, how many tiles of each so the question was we figured out so go, make sure you say x is the best which you will find but then to find the red you need to add those 25 tiles that were extra and then the blue how many three groups of x so continue that on your own